Are you a dentist that spends thousands of dollars each month to get patients to visit your practice, only to find that many won't listen to and heed your diagnosis and treatment plan? You might be surprised to know that you are the cause of it. Here is the cycle that dentists can fall into. They finish dental school and some start their own practice, while others go to work for another dentist. Over time, they become part of an ecosystem, working with the same team and similar patients every day. Suddenly, the inevitable happens. They meet patients who resist treatment, question their offerings, and in some cases, avoid coming back. The dentist offers a treatment, the patient questions their approach, and they end up recommending less and less, so they don't feel rejected when the patient says no to them. This leads to some regretting their decision to become a dentist, while others wonder whether another practice or city would be a better option for them. Here are some beliefs that start to creep in. Selling is manipulative and uncomfortable. Patients don't listen and already have their own idea of what they need. Some patients end up doing the minimum treatment anyway, so why bother recommending more than you need to? All these beliefs are symptoms of what we call the rejected dentist syndrome. The more a dentist gets rejected by their patients, the more they try to minimise the situation. Is there a solution to this cycle? Yes, there is. And it starts with stopping the cycle.